What's good? It's Andrew from TravelingGuitarist.com. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about loop, guitar loopers, or as they're commonly called, looper pedals. Um, this is probably one of the most convenient and handy tools that you could get as a guitar player for a couple different reasons. I'm going to explore some of those reasons now. But, but before we talk about that, I'm going to tell you what it is. So a looper pedal is essentially a tool that records a sample of your guitar playing, whether it's a riff, note, chord, or what have you. You can even record a sample of vocals if you needed to. And then it just repeats it back to you on a loop. And it, the, how many times it repeats is designated by the looper settings. So, you know, just to say that simply, it's just a, it's a loop pedal. Like you just hit the button, you play whatever you want, you sing whatever you want, and it'll loop it back to you over and over again. So you can use this in a DAW or you can use it on your amp. And, um, it on the surface level, it seems like it wouldn't be that useful, but it's actually one of the most useful things that you can own um, for a number of reasons. And we're going to talk about those now. One of the reasons why is practicing over chord progressions. So for instance, like you can just come up with any chord progression you want or some like weird chord. Let's say you're experimenting with a chord that you've never used before. You just record it with a looper pedal. You, you know, you hit the button quickly. It's quick, easy. And then you have it looping over and over again. You can solo over it and you can figure out, you can analyze it. You can figure out what scales work with it, what doesn't work with it. And it's really amazing. Like it's really extremely helpful and it's, it's essential. I think, I think it's one of the most important things that you could have. If I was to recommend like any pedal to someone right away, um, for a guitar player, I would say get a looper pedal for sure. Absolutely. Um, they're so useful. So as I just said, like they're so useful for modes and scales as well. Like for instance, you can, if you're trying to figure out like the differences between tonalities in terms of the modes of the major scale, you know, you could have uh, you could just play like a D note and then hit the looper pedal and then play the C major scale over that D note that's looping over and over again. And you, you'll see how they, they work together harmonically. Or you could conversely, you could do like E, hit the E note and then play the notes of C major scale. And that's going to give you a Phrygian sound and just on and on and on. Like you can do all these things that it's, uh, it's so useful for, for a practicing tool. And it's so useful for so many different things. It's definitely worth getting one. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have one with me right now. It's at my parents' house. But, uh, uh, you know, eventually I'll be doing some more tutorials and stuff in the future, so I'll show you what's good. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely an amazing thing to have. And additionally, you, you can see how this is useful for improvisation as well. Like, you can just record any progression or any sound, and then you just jam over it for as long as you want. And many looper pedals, like, you can create a long loop as well. Like, you can have a long one. Like, you could have one that's, like, some of them have like an hour long or even more. So you can like record a really long riff and then just hit loop. And then you just practice over that as much as you want. And it, it you know, it's really going to help you in terms of your improvisation skills. And, um, another thing that it's great for is harmonies. So if you play a chord, let's say you play like a C major chord. Well, you just play that chord, hit the looper pedal, and then you play an A minor chord over that just to see how they sound together harmonically. And, and additionally, you can use it to, like practice harmonizing major thirds and things like that, which is super common in like metal um, and, and other genres. Um, it's, it's it's common in all genres, but I'm thinking more in, in terms of the guitar. Like in, in most metal, like there's usually t two guitar players and they kind of harmonize lines sometimes. You can see it everywhere. Iron Maiden, Trivium, Metallica, you know, it's everywhere. Another great thing that it's used for is live performances. Like if you ever go around in your city, assuming you live in a large city, you'll see guitar players on the street and they're, they're buskers and they, uh, you know, they'll have a looper pedal and they'll just have uh, some riff that they made and then they record it or, and then they play it over and over again and jam over it. And you know, it's cool. Like it's like, have, it's like, it's like having a second guitar player at your disposal, except they play something exactly how you want it. And as many times as you want for forever without messing up, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like a, it's like a robot guitarist, you know, it's dope. And you can also use it for other things that you wouldn't expect, like a metronome. So for instance, if you quickly wanted like a BPM, if you wanted like a click track, you know, you can just hit a strum or like strum a note, palm muted note, you know, one, two, three, four, and then hit the loop station. And then it'll just go back and forth and you can use that as a metronome, like right off the bat, you know? So it's very useful for that too. And also interval training. So like, if you're, if you're practicing intervals, you know, you could have, you could play your, your C on the eighth fret on the bottom E string and then play the E on the, on the same string and then be like, oh, well that's a major third C, C D E. 
and so you hit the C and then you hit the, the E right after just to see how they sound together harmonically. So you can, you, you can do this with all kinds of intervals, you know, just, just to see how certain notes sound together. And, and it just gives you a better idea. It just makes you a better musician, you know, because you, you have a better understanding of how things sound and you can even, you know, you can even practice your ear. So you can, you can have a better understanding of like what notes, like you can hear it on a song, for instance, you can be like, Oh, like that was a major seventh. But anyway, um, it's also good for creative flow. So like, as you can imagine with all these things into consideration, like you can, it, like, for instance, if you use GarageBand, like if I'm going to record a riff in GarageBand to, for the sake of practicing over it, it's not quite as like conducive. Like it's, it's useful. You can do it in GarageBand and I do it all the time, but a looper pedal is just so much easier because you just like stomp on it and then it's good to go. And it just plays on repeat. You know, you don't need to record and then like loop and then, you know, and then drag the thing in GarageBand to repeat it as many times as you need to. Like, it'll just repeat for forever, you know, until you hit the pedal again. And the last thing is reverse playback. You can also do this with DAWs like GarageBand, but this is just a button that you hit and then it'll literally play it back to you in reverse. So you can, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like you could record an additional chord progression or another line. And it's just really amazing for like layering and overdubbing. And, and you can create some like amazing riffs with using all these different effects and, and all these layers that you're doing. So it's super cool, man. I definitely think it's worth getting. And if you are going to get one, I would recommend getting this one here, the boss RC three loop station. This is, uh, I would get the, yeah, I get the loop station RC three. I don't know why it took me to the wrong link, but, uh, anyway, like this is one, it has all the features that you would need really. And it doesn't cost a fortune and, um, it's easily going to be one of the best purchases that you ever make in terms of guitar playing and, and being useful and helping you out. But anyway, I hope this was video video was helpful to you in the future. I'll do some, uh, you know, some tutorials and show you how, how to, how to do the, how to use it and like how to make it, uh, you know, conducive to creativity and so on and so forth. But anyway, make sure you like, and subscribe, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.